we're going to assume what's called set builder notation. So So this means the set of all x, element a, such that p of x is true. Such that. Here, we need a to already be defined, otherwise we encounter what's called Russell's paradox which I'll do another video on but for now let's just assume that A is defined we can define an ordered pair in terms of just sets which are unordered so the definition, the standard definition of an ordered pair is an ordered pair is equivalent to the set that contains the first element and the set that contains both elements from there we can prove the basic result about ordered pairs which is that a comma b is equal to c comma d if if and only if so a biconditional if and only if a equals c and b equals d I won't prove this, but it's in the notes. A really important definition is the Cartesian product of two or more sets. Here we'll concentrate on only two sets, so the sets A and B we denote the Cartesian product by a time symbol, multiplication symbol. So the Cartesian product of A and B is equal to the set of all ordered pairs such that A is an element of capital A and B is an element of capital B. So for example if A is the set 0, 1, B is the set A, uh, B1, B2, then the Cartesian product a cross B equals the set of 0, B1, 0, B2, 1, B1, and 1, B2. This can be generalized to infinite sets, but it's good to think of finite sets just to get your head around it. So now we can define the notion of a binary relation. So a binary relation is a subset of a Cartesian product of two sets. So we write that R subset A cross B. So R is a subset of the Cartesian product A and B. So note that a subset could be the empty set 
or it could also be the entire Cartesian product of A cross B. So the definition of subset is A subset B if and only if for all X X element A implies X element B A subset B if and only if for all X X element A implies X element B so if X is an element of A X is an element of B Now a function is a special kind of binary relation. So we write f subset a cross b. So it's a binary relation which also satisfies some other properties. So the first property is for every element in the domain a there is an element in the codomain B such that A comma B, the ordered pair A and B, is an element of F. So for all A element capital A there exists some B element capital B such that A B element F. Sorry for my handwriting. <laughs> the second property is that for every element A in the domain, so every element A in big A, there is a unique element B in the codomain. So every element in the domain is mapped to one and only one element in the codomain. So the way we represent that is we say for all a element big A if A comma B1 is an element of F and A comma B2 is an element of F B1, B2 then B1 equals B2 So there's only one. They're the same. <laughs> so the normal notation for a function is we write f of a equals b to mean a comma b element f. So these mean the same thing. I'll do another video on injection, injection, surjections, and bijections, and and then I'll cover sequences. <laughs>